I finally watched Ten Cents Three Body. I already have like two videos on Three Body, but they're all like Netflix's Three Body. And I'm like, I guess I should make one talking about the Ten Cent version because it's so vastly different. And I thought I'd be able to compare the two, but you really can't. It's like comparing apples to oranges. They're not even the same thing. And if you guys want to see my review on Netflix's Three Body, I already have a video of that. So in this one, I'm really just going to be talking about Ten Cents Three Body. After watching this, I fell in love with Yeo Jin character and I was so surprised that that actually happened because I hated her hair character in the Netflix version. After watching the Tencent one, she had enough screen time to be developed and her story was very thorough. I could understand her more whereas you know in the Netflix one when, when she's one dimensional, the more I think about what she did in her life, the more it doesn't make too much sense other than she was maybe a little bit crazy. But in the Tencent one, I just feel like she was so complex even though, even though I know people are gonna be like oh but they cut out the cultural revolution scene where her father was killed and I'm like yeah maybe they it would have been probably better if they included it but everything else to supplement that was done well enough for me to really feel her character made sense. And so we'll get to Yu and Jian a little bit because I have so much more to say about her. But overall, the Tencent three body, it was good. The The science was explained very well. It had the vibe, the feel of what this three body problem story should be, which is definitely on a like a more serious there was enough build up for you to feel the actual existential dread that it's supposed to make you feel the answers to a lot of things was done in a very methodical way the way science is the one complaint i would have about it is it did get kind of slow at times there was a lot of scenes where it was just like slow motion or like music just to get the mood and those parts are like ones that i was like uh, maybe I should skip through it because it's like 30 episodes. It took a little bit of time to get into in the beginning because it was slow. But then eventually after I sort of attached myself to these characters and the things that were going on, I was completely engrossed in it. Wang Miao and like Da Shi. I loved their dynamic. It worked very well. The detective guy, he was so comedic. I really liked his, <laughs> I really liked his character. And I think it just worked well in contrast to like Wang Miao's sort of your average kind of not that emotional emotional science dude. Even though this whole drama was set in China and all the characters are Chinese besides the Western people in this, it actually felt more diverse than I was expecting it to feel. They had different ideas. They had different mindsets. They believed in different things, especially the ETO, the different factions. Some of them believed they should help the Trisolarians solve the problem. Others were like, no, they're just here. I want them to come and destroy the earth because humanity is not savable. It was diverse enough to make it not feel like it was such a narrow scope. There were so many scenes where like the Chinese general was communicating with other generals, other leaders from other countries. It definitely felt like it was a more worldly view. Everyone was kind of facing these weird things that were happening because of the Sofans or because the Trisolarians were doing stuff and the ETO were doing stuff. The whole thing about the scientists around the world dying, killing themselves, it wasn't just happening in one location. It made you remember things were happening around the world even though we're just in China things elsewhere were happening the whole time it felt more like it was a global threat because it was so scientific there was so much science in it you realize that science really doesn't have cultural barriers I think the characters were all very diverse too like Shen Yifei's husband he was like an autistic savant in the end after she killed herself he continued to try to calculate the three body problem even though there's no solution I was just like that was a very emotional scene and now we go to my favorite character in this it's kind of weird that I was so obsessed with you and you she had a very strong character despite being broken down so many times and being sort of detached. Like most people would have broken down. I would have broken down a long time ago. I also liked how they didn't tell her story in a linear fashion. They were mostly revealing it bit by bit in flashbacks. And a lot of the flashbacks, she it was kind of like her as an old woman. She was like telling a story of her past. She seemed like a normal lady. Like Wang Miao the whole time was like, no, it can't be Ye Wenjie. And then Dasha was like, all of the clues point to her. She's behind all of this. And then Wang Miao was just like, but she's just the nice old lady. I don't know. She never had really much expression on her face. You could feel she was somewhat detached. But at the same time, she was kind to everyone around her. And even the younger version of her, even though she had faced so much hardship in her life and the world had not been kind to her and she was kind of like, 
like really she hated humanity but she was still treating everyone nicely her story at the red coast base was what really hit me because at that point it felt like she should have given up but when she was at the red coast base she was still trying to make a name for herself like she was still working really hard i don't know she was outshining her peers she was still very determined to like do something it seemed like she still had goals and she was definitely still very passionate about astrophysics and science and everything when she got the chance to learn about the project she was really into it and it made me realize that she is really that type of person that's just like very logical very idealistic she was pretty impressive she was still kind of young and she hadn't actually experienced that much in life she stuck very firm to her beliefs and i think that was probably also how she survived so much trauma in her life she had such a strong innate character she wasn't easily convinced by others around her because i think if she was if she wavered even a little bit during the cultural revolution time she probably would have just fell apart you know she would have either fell apart or she would have just joined the ideas of society it's really not just about that scene where her dad was beaten to death but the cultural revolution with so many more things. It really showed in this drama. It gives you a better understanding of her character. When they finally revealed the project to her, they were really emphasizing the fact that, you know, they're trying to, obviously, they're trying to contact extraterrestrial intelligence, but they weren't the only ones doing it. A lot of other advancing countries, they're also doing the same thing because they really believe that making contact with extraterrestrial intelligence was like the next big thing. So it's almost like an arms race. That also really really contributed to her determination to really make contact with the aliens. For me, it almost like drew a parallel to Oppenheimer. Even though he knew developing the atomic bomb would change the world forever, it would lead to so much destruction and it would open the floodgates to so many problems. He still had to do it because, you know, if he didn't do it, someone else was going to do it anyways. Yeah, when Jill was like, if everyone is trying to do this, eventually someone's going to do it. So when she finally did it, it made way more sense why she pressed that button. Also, because there was so much time spent showing that portion of her life when she was spending days and nights for months trying to figure out how to amplify the signal. And when she finally like calculated everything, she was so excited, but they didn't let her test her theory out. She actually risked everything to sort of secretly, secretly send out the signal. That was a really tense moment. And I think it really works for her as a character because she really doesn't show much emotion. She's very emotionless, very cold, calculating, logical. So those moments where she does show signs of emotion, like her hand shaking, the tension, the nerve, or even like excitement that she discovered something, it was very impactful. And obviously she didn't get a response until eight years later. So I'm just like, yeah, imagine waiting eight years to find the results of something you worked really hard for. In combination with everything that happened in her life, and then the eight years of her like reading up on like what humanity has done throughout history to sort of destroy the earth, the environment, it makes a lot more sense now. And it was wasn't just like an impulsive decision, a spur of the moment. I just want to destroy the world. And the whole time she was convincing herself, the aliens, they would come and make the world better than the humans could because they were so much more advanced. She stuck really firmly to her beliefs that science and technology was like the answer. Like it was the way to go. And so because of that, because of her sort of narrow mindset at the time because of her life experiences she was kind of young and naive still it all made sense at that point in her life later in life after she experienced way more things she did at one point sort of regret doing what she did but i think in her mind she always tried to convince herself this was for the better for the greater good or something i don't know i mean it's similar to how we do that too like sometimes we make decisions that we're not sure of but because we can't really change it we sort of convince ourselves that hey maybe it's not going to be that bad maybe like best case scenario will happen so over the years she has built walls like she hasn't allowed herself to really feel emotional over anything because her idea are so big and broad on such a macroscopic scale that all of these little things in her life just don't really matter that much. But at the same time, she still has that part of her that is human. She had that ability to sort of detach from that because she has experienced so much in her life. She was such a complicated character and I really, I really, really liked how the Tencent version was able to bring that through. Honestly, after watching the Tencent version, I'm just like, how 
how did the Netflix one decide to make her and Mike Evans get married? Like this, this just doesn't make any sense. I don't think Ye Wen Jie, a person like her, could ever like really truly fall in love in her life. Like even Yang Wei Ning, she didn't even like really love him. Like I know she like ended up killing him. She did so many things because she had such a strong determination to make things happen the way she wanted it's very compelling but also a little bit scary but at the same time almost understandable to a certain level and i decided to make this video just because just because i really liked her character and i really liked the way that the tencent one sort of had tension had the build-up had the scientific explanations and it didn't happen easily and that's how you really appreciate the conclusion when it took you a long time to get there and i think that's the real the real beauty of this story the netflix one was just kind of mediocre and it could have been better if they had they if they invested more in making the characters better because clearly they didn't want to go the science route they wanted to make the characters likable but i don't think most people were that enamored by the oxford five just saying so if they had made that better it might have been like a cool spin-off kind of a thing it's very different and they cannot be compared even though the 10 cent one isn't even really about the characters i thought the characters were way more compelling the people who played the scientists if you're in the top of your field okay the reason why the oxford five did not feel convincing as scientists it's because i feel like a professional at the top of their field they would spend so much time doing their work that it's impossible for it not to seep into other parts of their life to not like be a part of their personality i'm just like i don't think anyone at the top of their field has been able to like completely cut their personal life away from their work that almost feels impossible you're gonna be influenced by that it's gonna shape your character i just didn't feel like the oxford five was convincing as scientists that have been shaped by their work hopefully this video will be more relevant when second season comes out either netflix or tencent i don't know it's probably gonna be far into the future but i will be watching both um because they're so different i'm actually i'm actually glad they're different because i think if they were the same thing it would have been just like a repeat the netflix one definitely had more potential if they were going for something completely different a lot of people nowadays just want to like just want to get to the point be constantly stimulated you get numb to that eventually and then if you don't have time to marinate and to think about these ideas they lose the gravity some people may be okay with that if they don't really care too much about the existential dread or the tension buildup or slow burn kind of a thing but i really feel like this there's not much to this story if you get rid of the slow burn moments there's not much to it if you take away the science most of the bulk of this story the bulk of three body problem is just the science it's a hard sci-fi novel so to take that away you really have to like fill it in with something better yeah i think that's all i had to say i hope i didn't bore you guys with more three body stuff but i think this is gonna be my last video about this in a while or at least until the next seasons come out thanks for watching this video see you guys in my next video